And it's Lupe Classic Hits, 92.7, 95.3. And we're in the Street Beat studio this morning with Brad Prout and Jim Myers talking about the first annual International Festival of Trees scheduled for December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And what is the Festival of Trees all about, guys? Well, this is an opportunity for people to come in and view trees that uh, businesses have sponsored for us, uh, fully decorated trees with lots of gifts and things like that. Uh, People can come in for admission of $1 and buy tickets at 50 cents a piece. And it's really a great, fun uh, family event, inexpensive and uh, you know, we're very excited to bring this to Calus, Maine. A lot of people don't get the opportunity to come to Bangor and see the the big one that we host up there, so we we felt it would be nice to bring it down here to Calus, Maine. It's going to be December 1st, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., December 2nd, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., December 3rd, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. There will also be a canteen ran by the Boy Scouts that will be on hand. And the different businesses that are in it this year are Callus Methodist Home Incorporated, International Motel, Ace Hardware, FAP Body Insurance, Downey's Credit Union, VL Tamaro Oil Company, Machias Savings Bank, Dunkin' Donuts, Dead River Oil Company, Artemis's Attic, Rachel Ashley Jewelers, Mercier's Hair Salon, Bearing Gifts at Knock on Wood, Johnson's True Value Hardware, Due East Real Estate, Callis Regional Hospital, First National Bank, AC Incorporated, Spednik Club, and State Cinemas. So everybody. Everybody. <laughs> so uh, so what is this more about the trees and the and what are we buying the, the tickets for? Yes, you go around and view all the trees and whatever tree you, you feel you like the best or you want a chance to win, mm-hmm. you drop your ticket in that bucket and at, on Sunday afternoon... Hopefully around 4 o'clock we'll be drawing all the trees off and the winners can come in and pick up the tree and all the things under the tree. Okay, so there's there's prizes under the trees. Yes, definitely. Now, is everything wrapped or you can see no, it? No, we, uh, we like to keep them unwrapped so people can see what's what's the, under the tree and what they have a chance to win. What's the admission to get in? $1. $1, okay. For adults and kids under 12 are free. Okay, and then so. you, additionally you can buy tickets right. for yep. each each tree. Each, how, well, how many trees did you say? Or is it just we're 20 all together. 20. 20. 20 trees, yep. Okay, wow. 20 trees with all kinds of presents. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what kinds of things... <laughs> Do you know already? We don't know. It's really up oh, to the okay. business. They right. kind of pick their own theme oh, on how okay. they want to do the tree. And, you know, I mean, I can give you some examples out of Bangor. We had anywhere from snow plows to uh, canoes and kayaks to fire oh, wow. rings. And there's a variety of things. Uh, yeah, a lot of gift cards. And actually, uh, one tree in Bangor was a lottery tree, you know. So it really depends oh, wow. on the business and what they want to what they want to put into it. Oh, so. okay. So each business sponsors a tree. Yes. And who's the sponsor of this again? The Anna Shriners. And Anna Shriners. Basically, and it's a, the two clubs that we have, seven clubs out of Anna Shriners, and it would be Washington County Shrine Club and Scudic Shrine Club, okay, all the members. So, so it's to raise money for... It's to raise money for the clubs and Anna Shriners out of Bangor, Maine. Oh, okay. And what does Anna Shriners do? Well, Anna Shriners, we support 22 hospitals throughout the United States, Canada, and Mexico um, okay. with an operating budget of about $886 million a year. Oh, wow. wow. All right. Is there anything else that we need to talk about? I think we covered it all. You got everything. So you got tr- you got 20 trees. Fully decorated. Fully decorated and fully uh, with all the presents. Right. Now, now, you just get the presents or you get the tree also? No, you the get the whole thing, the whole, thing, the whole package. <laughs> How big are these trees? <laughs> uh, usually about six foot. Range in size. Size. Different six sizes yep. depending on the, yep. the, 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 the whoever's sponsoring right. it. They right. got their own tree. They put their own presents under it. Right. All yes. right. So we're all set. You're all good, right. good to go. And uh, we want to invite everybody. What was the times yes. and dates again? Again, yeah. Friday, December 1st, 4 to 8, and December 2nd, 10 to 8, and then on Sunday, 10 to 3. Okay, and you have a uh, setup today or something? Do you need yes. help with that? or? Well, we've got a crew coming in to set it up, lay it out. And, oh, by the way, we will be at the Knights of Columbus. That's probably okay. the location yeah. ought to yeah. be a good thing. <laughs> huh? Now, um, is there anybody we might want to contact if, if they need more information? Or uh, Yeah, they can give uh, myself a call at... Uh, Six three two seven zero zero eight. Brad oh, Prout. Brad Prout. Um, um, do you need any help 
on location? Any of the places need help or anything? No, I think we've, any, we've got a good volunteers? crew of uh, Shriners and their ladies uh, that are going to come out and help us put it all together. All right, guys. Thank you for being thank here. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. And that's Brad Pout and Jim Myers talking about the first annual Festival of Trees scheduled for December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd.